Hey guys, a lot of you are asking what my favorite marijuana stock is in the US if I had to choose one. You know, with the news we got that they're reclassifying marijuana as a schedule three drug versus a schedule one, that's a game changer for the industry. Okay, we saw the stocks rip higher yesterday and now they're giving back those gains. So this could be an opportunity to get on the dip, okay? Because I put out a video on this, check it out for it was from yesterday or day ago about marijuana you know, the news of the DEA reclassifying it. The reason why this is a big deal, I'll just point it out again really quickly here, is that this helps marijuana companies write off, you know, on their taxes having deductions because right now they're not allowed to deduct it because it's classified as a Schedule 1, which is the same as heroin, for example, which is ridiculous. Schedule 3 re reclassification would have at the same level as Tylenol and steroids, for example. So that's going to open up the door for more opportunities Okay, not only with writing off on, and saving money on their taxes with these marijuana companies, but also having access to banks potentially down the road, that would change the game as well, okay? And we know there's been legalization with marijuana, you know, in other countries out there internationally, all right, with Germany, I believe it was. So that was another positive and more states over time will likely legalize marijuana. Now, a lot of these US stocks, marijuana stocks are OTC, they're over the counter, right? I wonder if one day that would change, but obviously you have to pay that 6% fee or whatever it is. It's different for what brokerage you have, okay? But you have to pay that fee every time you buy and sell it. And that's why I don't usually like messing around with OTC stocks. I say stay away from those, those zombie companies we talked about, right? That are consistently losing money, no profitability in sight. But like I said, when you get this positive news, right? Like with marijuana, that can help these stocks in the short run. I still would not invest in these long term that's just me personally okay i don't see them as investments but if i had to choose one one stock i actually would be okay holding with the small position is innovative industrial properties this is a reit this is ticker symbol i i p r they offer it's a seven percent dividend right around there currently guys and this is they lease out right space to tenants right to to have these grow operations right or anything revolving around marijuana. They have over a hundred of these properties spread out among many different states, okay? So I like that they collect that money, you know, from tenants. And the reason why the stock went down a lot from its highs is because of worries of defaults with these tenants. Now they've gotten it back to 100%. They're collecting rent from 100% of their tenants. So this is a great opportunity with a high dividend and with a stable business that's now growing again, okay? I think this is this would be my number one pick if I had to choose one in the marijuana sector. Again, IIPR, again, this is not an OTC stock either, so you can avoid that. And like I said, this company, being a REIT, they're required, just like you know how I like Annalee, which is a mortgage REIT, they have, they're required by law to pay out, you know, 90% of their income, right, has to go towards dividends. That's how REITs work. And so this is one you could also set up to go right to your bank account if you want, or you can reinvest that back into the stock with this being way off of its highs and just starting to curl up now with some good momentum. But that's totally up to you. But that would be my top choice, guys. Just want to let you know. Have a great day.